Top Swan. Entering AP invoices. This is the invoice that we'll be entering for payment. To enter accounts payable invoices, we begin by clicking on accounts payable on the menu. And then enter bills. If you neglected to select the community before choosing this function, you can always change the community at the top of the page. First, we'll select the vendor to pay. You can search by vendor name, vendor ID, vendor address, and more. The vendor we're looking for is ABC Maintenance. Our search has brought up a few different possibilities, but this one at the top is the one we're looking for. We can toggle the type of the invoice that we're entering here. We have a separate tutorial for handwritten bills, so we'll leave this as is. Entering bills can also be scheduled. We're not going to schedule this function, so we'll choose this time only. Next, we'll need to enter in the details of this invoice. We'll enter the invoice number and a description of the invoice. We can also select a bank account other than the primary account. There are three different dates to enter. The first is the bill date or the date on the invoice. The next is the effective date. This is the posting date of the invoice and we'll leave that as today's date. Finally, we have the due date, which should also be listed on the invoice. Next, we'll enter the distribution by first choosing the expense account for the coding of this invoice. You can click the Browse button to browse your expense accounts, or search using the GL code or description. Next, we'll enter in the amount for this item. Our invoice total automatically updates based on the expense amount entered. Click the plus button to the right to add another expense account if needed. Again, we'll search for the appropriate account. And enter in the amount for this item. Our invoice total has now updated to include both expensed amounts. Next, we'll attach an electronic copy of the original invoice. This function allows us to browse our accessible drives to find a copy of the invoice. The green bar at the bottom indicates that the invoice was uploaded successfully. Click Post to post this invoice or if you need to enter another invoice, then click Post and Add New. After the bill has been posted, you have additional options. You can edit the bill, to make changes prior to printing the check, you can delete the bill, or you can add a comment or task to the bill. If you need to make changes to this bill after the fact, you can access it by clicking on the menu and choosing Accounts Payable and then Activity. From the Activity feed, you can click on the AP item. This will bring us back to our AP transaction screen with the same options we had immediately after posting the invoice. This concludes the Tops 1 Entering AP Invoices tutorial. Thank you.